Hi guys, I'm Unbound Bruja and welcome to my Chanel. Today we're going to be looking at something that is a bit glamorous, a little old Hollywood, and might I add, a bit fanciful. But before we get started, if you could go ahead and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and do the things that you do here on YouTube to help a gal out, it would be so much appreciated. So let's go ahead and get started. So I have already unboxed the item that I wanted to show you guys today. Um, I wanted to make sure that everything was in working order because I would have had a meltdown if anything was broken. Um, but anyways, we're going to be looking at an element of burlesque today. So burlesque is a beautiful art form that is kind of like a global phenomenon. It's been, <laughs> you can catch shows of burlesque in most major cities, including here in New York City, at such places like the Slipper Room or of course, Vegas. <laughs> Right now in Vegas, Dita Von Teis has got a residency, but there's also a bunch of different types of burlesque, showgirls, uh, your local script joint. Um, burlesque has all, so many elements, and we're going to be looking at something that I feel like really speaks to me. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get into it. So a month ago, I took a course called... Uh, Introduction to Burlesque with Joe Wilden at the School of Burlesque. And Joe is like an iconic New York City performer, and I believe she's performed everywhere, including, you know, having performed with Dita Von Teese. Um, she's just unbelievable, and I felt so fortunate enough to be able to take the class with her and my best friend. We had a blast. And Joe kind of goes over the fundamentals of burlesque, including the bump and grind the stocking peel, the glove peel. If you guys know, I love gloves. It's like one of my favorite accessories. Um, tassel twirling, which I really enjoyed being in a room full of people, twirling tassels all at one time <laughs> was just a highlight in my life. It was really, really fun. And I thank Joe so much for allowing us to be in a safe space to like experience this and bring you something that I feel like is gonna be really joyful for me, and that is fan dancing. So I have worked with fans before with like, kind of like my pinup photography. Um, fans are a great extension and movement of your hand. Um, they're beautiful. It's just such like a romantic thing, a fan. And um, I, got some fans here but let me just go ahead and tell you guys what i ordered um and i opened these and i just wanted to make sure that everything was in working <laughs> before <laughs> i came on youtube and like had a meltdown in this video if anything was broken uh because these are kind of an investment you guys good fans like especially these large fans can be a bit pricey so i ordered from fancyfeather.com for fancyfeather.com, I had to order two feathers, like two fans, because um, they're not sold in a set. You have to order the right hand fan and then the left hand fan. So I ordered the fancy burlesque fans in single layers, and you can get the fans in single layers, multi layers. It's just up to your preference. The single layer, I believe, was just a tad bit cheaper than the double and triple layer. That's when it gets real pricey when you have super huge fans. You can also DIY your own fans, make it yourself by ordering staves and your ostrich feathers and the wire. I myself am not a handy person, so purchasing it is. So let's go ahead and take a look at these fans and why I'm so excited and just like joyful about this. So right now I have the right hand fan. So you can see how big it is. And I got them in this beautiful, bright red, which I think will go really well. I really love wearing black clothing. Uh, so I feel like this will be like a really nice contrast with my black clothing. This is what the staves look like. I believe they're usually like acrylic plastic. Sometimes they're wood, um, but they're really lightweight. And then you can tighten or loosen the fans here with the screw. 
Right now I have them fairly tightened so that they don't flop, right? So that you can use your fans if you wanted to, you can loosen them and they would close and open, you know, when you went like so. But right now they're, they're nice and tightened. So this is the right hand fan. And then we have the left hand fan. So this big, they take up lots of space, offer a great extension to your movement and are light enough Also, what's nice about these fans is even though these were kind of like uh, not as expensive as some of the fans they have on there, they offer good coverage. So it's really good to kind of, you know, if you don't want people to see what you're wearing, your burlesque costume, light enough. Super, super fun. I'm really excited to practice with these and see if I can come up with a routine um, to potentially do on stage. We'll see <laughs> what my feelings are. Um, I haven't been on stage in a really long time. I used to be a dancer um, and worked in the theater arts, um, but it's been a really long time since I've been anywhere near a stage or done any type of production or choreographed something myself. Um, but it is something that I am interested in again, and it's just sort of, I don't know, I need to find things to bring me joy in life, and this brings me joy. And of course, other elements of burlesque and dance. It will always be a part of me. Dance is something that will never go away for me. Um, it's just natural to me, and it's something that I enjoy doing. I love moving my body. I love being in my body, and I love learning new things. So working with these fans is something new to me, um, and it's like a journey that I'm really excited about taking, and hopefully I'll be able to you know, share this on YouTube for you guys, and maybe you like it. Maybe this is like something that you're interested in too, or a journey that you would like to see happen. So make sure to subscribe if this is something that you might be interested in. Um, if you have any questions, please just like comment. I will do my best to answer them. I am not, you know, this is new to me too, but I can, you know, at least tell you from my experience with these fans how I'm feeling. I love how lightweight they are. I love the coverage that these fans give. I love the vibrancy of this red. They're really beautiful. I think they were worth the money. Um, I feel like they're my pet. Like, I'm like, oh, my beauties, my beautiful <laughs> fans. Um, so I'm super excited to share this journey with you guys. Uh, and it's hopefully something that you want to see. So subscribe and we'll see where this goes. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll let you get on with your day. Enjoy the rest of your week. Have a fanciful day. May it be full of things that bring you joy. All right, guys, bye.